Did you think your CPU was slow? Well, in comparison to this CPU, a Pentium 3 looks like an i7-5960X. So, first of all, I could not actually do any CPU testing for three reasons. For number one, I tried searching on eBay and Amazon and could only find one which has turned into a piece of artwork and is being sold for $250. Even if I did get my hands on one, I would then have to spend absolutely forever searching for a motherboard which supported it, which by the way would probably be more difficult, if not worse, to find than the Intel 4004. Not to mention that even if I did get my hands on one, it is over 45 years old, meaning it likely wouldn't work anyway due to it reaching its age cap. As previously mentioned, the CPU I am talking about is of course the Intel 4004, the world's first microprocessor. It had one singular core with no hyperthreading, uh, which may seem appalling by today's standards, but back then, considering the time it was made, it really, really isn't surprising. It has a clock speed, or at least had, a clock speed of 700 and 40 kilohertz. Yeah, you did hear me right, not megahertz, kilohertz. It had about 2,300 transistors. To put this into perspective, an 8-core i7 Haswell eCPU had about 2.6 billion transistors. Not to mention that it has 10 micrometer architecture, whereas the modern CPU has about 20 nanometers. Finally, the modern CPU has a 64-bit instruction set. This Antifa CPU only has a 4-bit instruction set. These numbers may seem mind-blowingly low for a CPU, but that all changes when you realise when this CPU was released. It was available for commercial sale in March of 1971. So in conclusion, if you have a Pentium 4, AMD A4 5000 series, or an Intel i5-4200U, just imagine trying to play Minecraft, or even edit videos with a C4004. So that's going to be the end of today's video here. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe for more. But anyway guys, this is How To Compute, and we will catch you all next time. So, we will see you then. Bye!